Setting down, everything in the green. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am. Dissatisfied with the results. No wonder no one will work for you. My man is missing, and you're all just here, what? Waiting for him to wander back through the gate? Mr. Halftown, we are trying. But we don't have the manpower. And now half my crew thinks your little band of convicts is just waiting to drag us off and scrap us for organs. Mr. Halftown, our security officer has been put into the infirmary trying to find your worker. We're doing everything we can. All I ask is that you and your crew, be patient. You have nothing to fear from us convicts. We are handling it. Then get it done, or else we are going to have problems. You have my word. I'm sorry, love, but the Elios retreat isn't taking new residents right now. We've had some issues. A missing person chief among them. But you're welcome to rest up and refuel here as long as you'd like. So long as there's no bounty hunter after you that's going to kick my brand new door off its hinges. Well, at the moment, it's primarily a collection of shipping containers and unused construction materials. But... The plan is to make this place into a growth and education residence for the galaxies incarcerated. We'll offer job training and a support network for folks that otherwise just while away their days in prison just because they didn't have the credits to pay their own bounties. Get them all the tools they need to set up regular, boring lives like the rest of us. Well, thank you. Always striving to make my presence in the universe a net positive. But still got a lot of ground to cover. But I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to listen to me blabber. You're probably exhausted. Monica should have any supplies you might need. She's just out front of the main building. And our ship services tech is out near the landing pad if your vessel needs some tending to. And if you need anything else, or just want to talk, you come find me. that the truth? Because I can't say it's going to be easy work, but if you found the construction crew's missing man, we'd all owe you. This planet, it's not the most accommodating to human life. It's wild, empty, and the local fauna, well, they're not big fans of humans. So while I will absolutely take your help if you're offering it, I just want you to be aware, I don't expect it's going to be a walk in the park. Well, he was last seen a few days ago, so we don't think he could have gotten far. We sent our lone security officer to find him, but things didn't go according to plan out there, and now he's taken up residence in our infirmary. So if you're offering, we'll absolutely take the help. You don't know how happy I am to hear it. First things first, you want to speak to Greg D'Angelo, our security officer. He was wounded searching for our worker, Mr. Kilman's trail. He should be able to get you pointed toward Kilman's last known location. This is, well, 
Beautiful. Why would someone... Impressive construction. It's ambitious, but still, so out of place in such a remote location. Uh, who are you? Can't the guy heal in peace? Sloan found someone else, huh? Well, hopefully, uh, you'll have better luck than I did. I managed to turn up some tracks outside the facility. Bit of a hike, though. Not sure if they were Kilmans, but Ixel's not exactly a bustling metropolis. There was a cave system I scanned nearby, but I got attacked before I could look any further. Next place I was planning to visit once I was on my feet again. I'd start there. Got anything on your scanner? cave would make an adequate shelter. before you stow it in your bag.
not going back. Stay away. Oh God, please, please don't put me back in the bag. I'll do whatever you say, just please, not the bag. You've got nothing to fear. We're here to help. Oh, thank God. You don't know what that... Oh, come on. Let's... let's get out of here. Any troubles you need to share? You do know the way back, right? I'm sure there's something nearby. I have things for you. walking out, and someone threw a bag over my head. They took me... I don't know. It smelled like the inside of the first aid kit. I had to sleep on a steel floor and... Which one of you crooks bagged him, huh? Us? Why the hell would we do that? Waste of a perfectly good bag. You rambling kid, come on. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. You smell like used welder's gear. Mr. Halftown, I have some medical training. I'd be happy to. You stay away from me. I want whoever kidnapped my man found and dealt with. You understand? I don't care if it's one of your people or mine or a fucking ghost. Find them. Of course. We'll do what we can. But... I'm not interested in excuses. I need to know who did this. Just find my man's kidnapper now. Ah, uh, I, I guess it might have been a bit naive for me to hope for a happy reconciliation, but you brought him back safe. That's what's important. Here, you have my sincerest thanks. But now, we've got a whole new thread to pull on. What are the chances I'd be able to convince you to help us find our kidnapper? Fine. 
I'm sure I can convince Nevin to trim some fat in the construction budget. Now, Mr. Kilman didn't seem to have a lot of information, but I caught at least one or two bits I think could help us find our kidnapper. He did, didn't he? Industrial antiseptic would be my guess. I know that smell. There was a building we were evaluating as a possible site for the retreat not far from here. An old research outpost. Seems like a decent match for the description of our kidnapper's hideaway. Here, the facility's coordinates. Head out there and see what you can find. I thought I was signing up for an exciting job on a remote world. Guess I should have been more careful about what I asked for.
what we can. I picked up something you might be interested in. If something's on your mind, you can tell me. Yep, here you go. Stay safe, darling. You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? Hmm. Not a lot to go on. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled. And done badly. Looks like... There. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god. It's all here. The accidents, the kidnapping, Greg's attack. These two, they did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names. But there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Trackers Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? 
Here? What? Our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. That certainly seems in the realm of possibility. So then this is an easy fix. They're bounty hunters. We pay them to leave us alone. And make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours, I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? Slate's not big on details. There's two of them, they're clearly armed. But that's about all we've got to go on. But trackers aren't usually the type to take prisoners when it's not required. So the fact that they've thus far remained largely non-violent... Well, it means they might be willing to negotiate. With the right person, of course. Which I think, in this case, is you. I'm certain we can find a way to solve this without resorting to violence. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on him and send him to the great beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. I think there's a clear way to solve this problem. But the ultimate way forward, I suppose, falls to you. I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Take care, please. What's up? You want to talk negotiation strategies? I'll help as best I can. I had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into that job to make it rich. You get into it to be your own boss and prove how tough you are. So, my advice? Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. Be careful with those goons. You looking for my suggestion? I don't think they're going to respect anything other than force. But I think Sloane's not going to be happy if you handle it that way. You would be correct, Mr. D'Angelo. They haven't killed anyone. Not yet, at least. Which means I bet they're willing to talk. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. But it's clear they perceive something about us as a threat. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try and understand it. So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say. And see if you can make whatever it is they're worried about a little less scary. Good luck out there.
But who's that? No clue. You. Who are you and what the hell are you doing here? And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen, unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. More than you can offer. Only way this stops is if that place closes up for good. I couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed, keep criminals out of the bounty system, well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? And then maybe the big boys like the UC and the Collective set up programs of their own, just like Elios. Put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip it in the bud now before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. There's no need for unnecessary bloodshed. That's so. I... I guess that's a good point. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Fine. We'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? That's... That's the best news I've had in quite a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, love. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office.
hard to believe it's all over. Thank you. Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just... the situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but... Well, she wants to talk to you, too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here. city with walls. Mm, quite a throwback, wouldn't you agree? Sorry, spaceport's always a zoo. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. I'm sure you can find something. Stay down. Tower's closed. Come back some other time. You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this little meeting. Rule number one, you're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two, you decide to get playful with that weapon, we're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? Good. Miss Lance is waiting upstairs. You can go on up.
and that must make you our guest. Please, take a seat. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you, I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. I'm not the sole donor, but yes, the retreat is a project I've been trying to foster for some time now. My attempt to improve the plight of humanity, even if just in a minor way. Which is why I'm so thankful for your intervention on its behalf. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off-limits. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now, Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? There were a streak of thefts and accidents leading up to Mr. Kilman's kidnapping. We'd presume they were just bad luck or local fauna. Ixel's not exactly the most hospitable of worlds, but Nevin made it sound as if those bounty hunters might have been responsible for it all. And I was hoping you could confirm if that was the case or not. Good. Lily, make sure we get a copy of all that, will you? Yes, Miss Lance. But Nevin did say you managed to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? Two trackers and you just talked them down? That's quite the feat. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? I bet they are. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work, but I'll make sure it's addressed. Should be the missing piece that ensures the retreat is around for many years to come. Let's hope so. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserve something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done. <laughs>